right and a lot of black people feel equal when they do that all of these entertainers they talk about all the power that they have and you know they do commercials for smartphones and water and all of these different things if you want to see true power then you create something and you make that hot you support somebody black and make that um, evening, scene one, two, and now three. We must show these things to our children. We must show them in the schools and assistants train them inside the schools. Keep up the school for everybody. Thank you. It's a great show. I've seen one, two, and now I've seen three. Uh, what I would like to, to see is that we kind of look at the Caribbean side because we in England are from descendants of the Caribbean. And we'd like to see a link from the Caribbean how we came here and what situation we are in now. We know what situation we are in and it is very similar to what the Americans have been through but there's a slight slight difference and we would like to we would like the world to see our struggle as well. Very Peace. brilliant, informative film. Um, very keep up the good work. I think it is um, very proactive in knowing what is actually wrong with our black community and how we can help how we can actually support our black businesses and what actually knowledge is out there because it is hidden and I think Hidden Colours 1, 2 and 3 should be the real movies showing the history of black people as opposed to 10 years of slavery which doesn't just show slavery and doesn't show the history before us. Like, once young black people like myself and others in the community know of this then it will help with our development. And also a message from, is it Charmaine? Yeah. Don't be reactive, be proactive. That's what I took from it. I thought it was a really good film, very informative to get a good overview of what's currently going on. Yeah. In terms of um, how the rights and rights of supremacy affects us all, um, I found it very insightful, knowledgeable. Um, I think it was very much American-centered, which um, is not too much of a bad thing. But for someone who lives in England, um, you can relate in terms of the global struggle, but it's not. Not that personalized because as I said, I, I don't live in America, I live in London, so we just have different experiences, even though we both are similar things. But it was great. I also think that the film was um, really good. So I've seen that um, the other two, and I feel that each film has something different to offer. And I feel that this one is more um, contemporary in the sense that it tackles issues that we're currently dealing with. And I feel that it's something that every black like, person should uh, watch and take on board and really try and invest, as you said, in black like, businesses and companies. I feel that that's important in the community. And I feel that this will really highlight some of those issues. Like, when you're thinking about things, you might not be aware of some of the underlying issues that are going on. And some of the issues of racism are quite subtle, but I think this film it does help to highlight those um, issues that black people are dealing with. So I feel that it was really good. Yeah, and just to add on what she was saying, I think what's great about the movie is, is at the end it provided practical solutions, which some, sometimes you watch films and you feel somewhat frustrated by the situation, but with this film it provided practical advice on what you can actually do to change your situation. And one way that, what highlighted by what she said about spending money on black businesses, that's something we can all do, it's something easy, practical, and we can start by now by supporting black businesses like that. To thank Black History Studies for actually putting on this screen for us today. It was actually very moving and there was a lot of information in there. There was some information that I've already known already, but on a whole it was actually quite moving, so thank you. Could I just ask, how are you going to use the information? Um, well, currently I'm, I'm telling my friends and family the most I can about all the information I know. Um, that's, that's a starting point. Right now I'm in university, so once I just get my piece of paper, then I can try and move into other sectors. So it's about each one to each one. Yeah. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so, just quickly, three things, because the economics was a big part of the film that we've just seen. Definitely, yeah. So three things you think that black people mostly spend their money on in this country, in the uh, UK. In this country, materialistic things. Um, I would say clothes would be at the top, maybe trainers, interchangeable. <laughs> um, um, technology is starting to move quite fast, so to have the latest things, you're basically with the in crowd, quote unquote. Um, and maybe cars? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
some proficient things that we do them when it comes to looking good or having the latest automobile. I mean, I don't know, but it's not going in the right direction. We need to put our money where it's going to benefit the youth coming generation so that they they've got a solid foothold in the world as well. That's where that's where that's where it needs to go. That's the solution. I mean there's a lot of solutions on the video like in, um, having our own banks. Collective economics. Having our own banks, yeah. Just keeping the palace free. Amazing. Amazing. We need it. This is what we need to be doing for our people more often. But obviously that's America. We need to now start doing the UK based one. It's all blind over here. It's like there's no racism over here. People don't understand what's really happening. We need people to wake up because we're losing people every day on this. And I'm not talking about death mentally, but we're losing people for no reason. Just because we don't want to unify for what? Like it's crazy all of this light skin rubbish, all this dark skin battling off. Now we're all black, let's just do this together. Start moving forward, then we can deal with religion and all that. We need to come together, put money together. When we've got money, then we've got power. When we've got power, then we can move. And if it has to be on a level that they're scared, then let them be scared. They got scared of the Black Panthers because they knew they didn't want to fuck about. Sorry about the language. It's that level they weren't playing. So why are we playing? What's going to happen? We're going to get dragged in the street again. No way. We can stand up because the worst thing is, it's easy. It's just when you come together, man, that's what we need to do. Yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, just watch the Hidden Colors free. Like this, I was very, very impressed. And I just feel as a people, especially as the youth as well, we need to be watching these things and learning from it. Because all I know is that we as black people have to support each other. Financially, emotionally, physically, everything. Because the black race, apart from physically dying, it's mentally dying. Already it's mentally dead, I can say. But all I want to say is that I'm very happy watching it today. I want to thank Black History Studies for putting it together. And I just feel as a people, we need to start supporting our own people. For example, Black History Studies for putting these things together so that we can empower our own people. And it's for the youth especially, because right now the youth hasn't got no leaders. Looking at the television, all they see is all these people cooning around, disrespecting our, uh, the black woman. So it's, it's, you know, words can't describe how I feel right now. I'm overly happy. But all I want to say is, this is what we need. And me, as myself, my friends, my um, colleagues, we're ready for the cause because we've had enough. Yes, yeah, it's, it's time to, and it's time to wake up our people. And it's not, it's not only for us, it's the babies. Yeah, man, we've got to wake them up because we're dying. Yeah. Our forefathers did it, yeah. and they're dying. So. We go wake up the youth, so and one last thing, yeah. Just notice Caucasians were prepared to kill themselves for freedom. Yeah, they did whatever it, no matter what they weren't gonna stop. So why are we just stopping? We need to go do what we need to do. I'm not saying violence, I'm saying protect ourselves. It's not a joke. We're not getting protected, so we need to protect ourselves, move forward, show love, that's it. We've got love, nothing. We need stop. to come back to the fundamentals and just show love and just support each other. Forget all this blah 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 business yeah. about I'm mix of this, mix of that. As long as you're for the movement, let's come together and do it. Period. Let's just come together and do it because it's no time to waste. It's no time to waste. We're going to get old out here, so. That's when we need to do something now. That's the only way. That's the only way I'm afraid. But I can't find black history and studies for. Trust me. So I want to know about this. So thank so you. We want to thank you lot as well. And we hope more. Well, Funding and all that. Hopefully, there's, there there's more, be. and yeah, we're, we're ready, ready to support as well. Um, I enjoyed the film. I liked the first two as well, and I think um, even though I prefer the first two. I think this film has dealt with the solutions, in my opinion, a bit, a little bit better than the other one. But some of the other things they said in it was relevant. It didn't seem as accessible to the everyday working class black people. Like for example, they said in the second one, travel. I think travelling is very educational, but not everybody can afford to travel overseas. But some of the things they said in this one, I think, is a bit more accessible to everyday people. And I think a lot of people forget that we all need to play our part and not give up and think this problem is so big and what can I do? They just think, I can't do this, it's too much. But if you think about it and you play your part in whatever area you're in, every little helps. Because for example, if you're a hairdresser, you can promote natural hair to your customers. If you're a teacher, you can educate your students on black history and whichever field you're in, just play that little part, we can work together and 
um, helps out the bigger picture in the end. Yes, I found the film very um, informative. Thank you, Black History Studies, for putting the event on. Um, very um, well attended, very informative, like I said. Um, I think this is the most enjoyable out of the Hidden Colors trilogy. Um, I'm um, lost for words. It's kind of fired me up. I'm kind of angry, but I'm trying my best to use the energy to uh, move forward and to do something constructive with it, something even more constructive that I am currently doing. So, um, yes, no, thank you once again. The thing that I found quite difficult to, to digest, I would always find it difficult to digest, is the organ trafficking. Um, some of the um, interviews going into detail about what happened to us during slavery and how barbaric they were in their um, practices. I hope that everyone who has attended has absorbed the information and will basically do something constructive with it. Um, and I feel that at the moment there is a lot of people that are talking, so it's raising awareness amongst themselves. I hope that they go outside and they tell their friends and their family about it. And not just that, they do something constructive. So thank you once again for the event. I, I, found the show, I found the documentary very, very, um, very, very uh, more informative than what it was for the last two months. The second one was good, the first one was very, more back in the days, kind of explaining where your roots are from. This one actually dealt with the current day issues, but I do feel like there needs to be a strong presence in the UK in terms of those kind of issues being brought up and being in these as well. I think it's, um, it's definitely a, a, a big eye-opener and I would actually, you know, like, a lot of things in there kind of affected me and how I was, you know, trained in this kind of dominant society at work as well. And even, you know, in the whole, like, say, Facebook and Twitter, but sometimes I find it difficult to communicate with other organisations online because of who my work people are, what they may think and see. And now I've actually looked at it and said to myself, really, well, you know, if I'm doing something to help my community as a normal person, if we're all human, then no one will kind of see that as an offensive, you know what I'm saying? But if they do, then obviously that's what we need to kind of challenge. But, um, yeah, I think it was very, very, very good, you know, um, uh, to reach the sheet, people like, you know, not too much Johnson, he's got that school that he's building in, um, I can't remember the area in America, the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Marcus School, um, kind of, you know, academy. Um, I know we always look at America to kind of set the pace, but I think the UK needs to take these ideas and develop our own. You know, we've got loads and loads and loads of issues that are going on, you know, um, in, in London today. So I think, so not even London, Birmingham, you've got Milton Keynes, you've got uh, Leeds, other areas, Luton as well. Um, so I think that we need to kind of, you know, push to that a bit more. Did and, you um, say as well, I heard a comment on a video that um, I was watching about Nas being in the, in the film. Um, and then I agree with them because they were saying how, why is he in it? Because, you know, he wears the sneakers and he sort of supports that whole, like, in the street in, kind of thing, yeah. yeah. But um, I can see why they did put him in it now, now that I've watched it. He's been in it before, and I've seen for myself that he's taken himself out of that and sort of put into the community as well. So I just wanted to express that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Hidden Colours Free. I can understand the rationale behind it and why they made it. I did, for me personally, I found bits of it repetitive. I did think they raised some really good points, especially the bit about um, W.B. Du Bois and the knuckles on display in the butcher shop. Again, adding to that was the fact that he was actually on his way to meet the person whose husband had already been executed to try and get a stay of execution. So that's for me why that was significant. And maybe it didn't come through in the film. But overall, I think it's a, definitely a good project to support. And if they make a part four, they really need to involve the people in the diaspora in a more significant way, whether that is from people from the Caribbean or from us in the UK or Brazil or wherever, because there are similar narratives going on. And I just think that the world is not centered around African America for whichever reason. So anyway, respect to them and respect to Black History Studies, bringing it to the community and 
affecting a good debate with over 200 souls, and that is good works in this time, so bless. Thank you, thanks.